Well, now, President of Challenging Heights, James Kofi Annan, uh, wants government to involve the private sector in its quest to achieve its revenue target in the tourism sector. Speaking of this year's Ra Beba Festival at uh, Winneba in the Central Region, Mr. Annan indicated what was needed in the tourism sector was for government to strengthen the tourism and cultural policies by allowing the private sector to lead the way. There's more in this report has projected that it will rake in $4 billion in the tourism industry by 2024. This target, according to the president of the Challenging Heights, James Kofianan, could be achieved, but the role of the private sector remains crucial. James Kofianan believes that Ghana does not have a competitive advantage in the manufacturing industry and does not have a competitive advantage in the technology industry either. But Ghana's competitive advantage is in the tourism industry, where the country's history cultural practices and creative talent put the nation straight ahead of other countries. We recently heard the Minister of Tourism talking about the government targets for tourism revenue. And the government is saying that they, want, they are aiming at collecting at least $4 billion in re revenue from tourism by the year 2024. We believe that that is possible and that is achievable. But we believe that the government must create the enabling environment, the regulations, the policies, and to allow the private sector to lead in the tourism industry and avoid interfering in festivals. That is the only way the government can achieve its goal of $4 billion by the year 2024. He explained what the festival means to the fishing community here at Rarababa. We want to see this festival as one of the biggest festivals in Ghana. We know that during the crow season, the fishermen don't have money because they don't go to work. And so they are poor. This festival is also aimed at bridging that gap. When the crow season is on, they can derive income from this festival and be able to sell, people will be selling ice water, achumbo, kenke, all manner of things to earn income out of this festival. The Futu Municipal Chief Executive, Zubair Al Hassan, commended the fisher folk here for not engaging in illegal fishing practices. I must commend the people of Wababa because thanks to them for the type of fishing they do. You adhere to all fishing regulations the world over. I mean, you do not do light fishing. You do not use chemicals like DDT and powered soap, mentioned to be few, of the prohibited forms, of, forms and processing of fishing.